The boy who cried wolf. In a small village near a big forest, there lived a young boy named Tom. Tom was ten years old. He had brown hair and bright blue eyes. Tom lived with his parents in a small house. His father was a farmer, and his mother made clothes. Every day, Tom had a job. His job was to take care of the village's sheep. Early in the morning, Tom would take the sheep to eat grass in the fields near the forest. He had to watch the sheep all day. At night, he would bring them back to the village. Tom liked his job at first. He liked being outside and watching the sheep. But after a few weeks, Tom got bored. The sheep just ate grass all day. Nothing exciting ever happened. One day, Tom had an idea. He thought, "I want to have some fun. I will play a trick on the village people." So Tom ran down the hill to the village. He shouted very loudly, "Wolf! Wolf! There's a wolf chasing the sheep!" All the people in the village heard Tom. They were very scared. Wolves were dangerous. The men grabbed sticks and ran to help Tom. The women and children hid in their houses. When the men got to the field, they looked around. They couldn't see any wolf. The sheep were eating grass quietly. Everything was normal. Tom started to laugh. He said, "Ha ha! I tricked you." There is no wolf. I was just joking. The village men were not happy. One man said, "Tom, that was a bad thing to do. We were very worried. Don't do that again." Then all the men went back to the village. Tom felt bad for a little while, but the next day he was bored again. He thought, "That was fun yesterday. I want to do it again." So Tom ran to the village again. He shouted, "Wolf, wolf! The wolf is eating the sheep!" Again, the village people were scared. The men ran to the field with their sticks, but when they got there, everything was fine. There was no wolf. The sheep were all safe. Tom laughed and said, "I tricked you again. It's so funny." This time, the village men were very angry. One man said, "Tom, this is not funny. We are busy people. We don't have time for your tricks. If you do this again, you will be in big trouble." Tom said he was sorry, but he didn't really mean it. He thought the whole thing was very funny. A few days later, Tom was watching the sheep. He was thinking about his tricks. Suddenly, he heard a strange noise. He looked up and saw something that made him very scared. There was a real wolf at the edge of the forest. The wolf was big and gray. It had sharp teeth and hungry eyes. It was looking at the sheep and getting ready to attack. Tom was terrified. He started to run to the village. He shouted as loud as he could, "Wolf, wolf! There's a real wolf! Please help!" In the village, the people heard Tom shouting, but they didn't believe him. They thought it was another trick. One man said, "Don't listen to Tom. He's just trying to fool us again." Another woman said, "Yes, let's ignore him." He'll learn his lesson if we don't go this time. Tom kept shouting and shouting. He cried and begged for help, but nobody came. The wolf saw that Tom was alone. It started to chase the sheep. The sheep were very scared. They ran in all directions. Tom tried to stop the wolf, but he was too small and weak. The wolf caught one sheep. Then another. Tom could only watch as the wolf attacked the sheep he was supposed to protect. 
After a long time, some village men came to check why Tom was still shouting. When they got to the field, they were shocked. They saw many sheep lying on the ground, hurt or dead. The wolf was gone, but it had done a lot of damage. Tom was crying. He said, I'm so sorry. I tried to tell you there was a real wolf this time, but nobody believed me because of my tricks. The village people were very sad and angry. One old man said, Tom, do you see what happens when you lie? Even when you tell the truth, people won't believe you. Trust is like a precious thing. Once you break it, it's very hard to fix. Tom felt terrible. He realized how wrong he had been. He said, I'm so sorry. I'll never lie again. Please forgive me. The village people were kind. They forgave Tom, but they told him he had to work hard to earn back their trust. From that day on, Tom never played tricks or told lies again. He became known as the most honest boy in the village. Every day, Tom took care of the sheep. He was always careful and watchful. When he saw anything strange, he told the truth right away. Slowly, the village people started to trust Tom again. Years later, when Tom was a grown-up, he would tell this story to the children in the village. He would say, Always tell the truth. If you lie, people won't believe you when it's important. Honesty is the best way to live. And so the story of the boy who cried wolf became a lesson that everyone in the village remembered. They learned that telling the truth is very important, and that trust is something you must never lose. The End